Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to talk about the question bursting balloons to maximize value. This is a question from Lead Code. So let me explain you the question. You're given an array of positive numbers representing the value of the balloons. You have to find the order in which to burst the balloons so that you can maximize the value. Let me help, uh, let me explain that with an example. Let's say I bursted the balloon in order 1, 3, 5, 8. So the first balloon I burst is 1. So when you burst a balloon, the, ma the value you get is the, the multiplication of the left neighbor of this guy, right neighbor of this guy, and this guy. So the value I get here is 1 into 3 into 5. Then 1 is bursted, so 1 is gone. So the next balloon to burst is 3. So 3 doesn't have a left neighbor, so we take a value of 1 for that into 3 and now the right neighbor of 3 is 5 because 1 is bursted so 5 plus so now 3 is bursted so the next balloon to burst is 5 so 5 doesn't have a left neighbor so 1 into 5 and then the right neighbor is 8 and now 5 is bursted and then the last balloon to burst is 8 so 1 into 8 into 1 so the total value you get here is 15 plus 15 plus 40 plus 8 and this value is uh, 78. Let's look at another order to burst the balloon. So this is the first order. Another order could be uh, 5, 1, 3, 8. So let's write this again. So now I'm going to burst the balloon in this order. So, so the first balloon to burst is 5. So, uh, the, so the value I get is 5 into left neighbor of 5, 1, and then right neighbor of 5, which is 8. And now 5 is bursted. So the next balloon to burst is 1. So left neighbor of 1 is 3 into 1 into right neighbor of 1 is 8. And then the next balloon to burst is 3. So 1 into 3 into 8. And then the last balloon to burst is 8. So 1 into 8 into 1. So the total value in this case is 40 plus 24 plus 24 plus 8. So this number is 48 plus 48 minus 6. So as you can see, if I burst balloon in this order, I get 96 value. If I get burst balloon in this order, then I get 78 value. So the idea is to find the order in which to burst the balloon so that we can maximize this value. Next, let's see how we solve this question. We are going to use bottom-up dynamic programming to solve this question. So the idea is to get every subarray of every length of this array and for every subarray, find the last balloon which needs to burst to maximize the value for that subarray. Once we have calculated that for every subarray, we can use that information to find the maximum value we can get for the entire array. So first we do is we take a two-dimensional array. The number of rows and number of columns in this array is going to be same as the size of, uh, size of our original array. And in here, we are going to fill up the value in this diagonal form. And at the top right corner, we'll have our answer. Every square in this uh, result matrix is capable of holding two values. First is what is the maximum value we can get for a subarray? And second is, what is the last balloon that needs to burst in that subarray? So next, let's work through this example. Length initially is 1, which means that we are looking at every subarray of length 1. So the first subarray of length 1 starts from 0 and ends at 0, which is why we're going to fill up this, this particular square 0, 0. Starts at this 0 and ends at this 0. So if I was only considering 3, only considering this one element 3, and if this was the last balloon to burst in this array, the value I will get is there is nothing on the, there is nothing on the left of 3, so 0, plus there is nothing on the right of 3 because our subarray is just restricted to one, one element 0, plus when this balloon bursts, the value I get is 1, into 3 into this value 1. So the total value here is 3. So if 3 was the last balloon, if, uh, if this uh, 3 was the last balloon to burst in this group of, in this subarray of length 1, we'll get a value 3 and we'll also note that 
the index uh, zero or the balloon at index zero is the last balloon to burst. Our length is still one and now we are looking at this element uh, at index one. So again, when we are saying one, which means that starts at one and that's one, which is why we're going to fill up this value one one, which is this square. So again here, uh, since one is the only balloon and it's the last balloon to burst, from the left side it gets nothing because we are considering a subarray of only of length one, so zero. From the right side it gets nothing. Plus, if one bursts, the total value we get is three into one into five, so the total is 15. So 15 is the, to is the maximum value I can get in this subarray of length one, and we'll also note the index of the balloon which should burn, burst the last in that group. Our length is still one, and now we're going to look at this guy. Again, starting at two, ending at two, so we're going to fill up this square. So uh, uh, again, uh, if five is the last to burst, so zero, we don't get anything from the left, we don't get anything from the right, and then one into five into eight, so the total value is 40. And we are going to note that two is the last index, balloon at index two is the last one to burst. And finally, three, three, starting at three, ending at three, the value I can get is uh, zero plus zero plus uh, uh, five into eight into one. So this is 40 again. So this is how we filled up zero. Uh, this is how we filled up our array, subarray for length one. Next, we're going to work on a subarray of length two. So when I say subarray of length two, we are considering all the subarrays of length two. So first one starts at zero and ends at one. So our i is zero, j is one. And now we're going to try every possible values of k and c between i and j and c which should be the last balloon to burst. So initially our k will be uh, value i. So if value i or if zero is the last balloon to burst, the total value I get is, if zero is the last balloon to burst, the total value I get is, uh, there is nothing on the left, so zero, plus if, uh, if, this, uh, sub if this balloon bursts, the total value we get here is one one, which we already calculated, so 15, plus this will be the last balloon to burst in this subarray. So uh, one from the left, three, and now remember this one is gone because this is the last balloon to burst in this array. So we're gonna multiply this three with this five. And the total value here is 30. So if zero is the, if zero is the first last balloon to burst in this subarray of length two, then we get a value of 30. Let's try one. If the balloon at index one is the last balloon to burst, then from the left side, we get a value of, so the left side is zero and zero, so we get a value of three. So, so from left, we get a value of three. From the right, we get no value because this is the rightmost end of this subarray, so zero. Plus, if this is the last balloon to burst, which means that three is already bursted, so we're going to multiply whatever is on the left of three, which is uh, basically we take one, and then this one, and then this five. So the total value we get here is eight. So 30 is greater than eight, which means that we are going to say that the maximum value I can expect to get in this subarray is 30. And I would like to burst uh, my uh, zeroth balloon as the last balloon in this subarray. Next, we are going to consider subarray of length two starting at i1 and ending at j2. So here we are going to fill up this value starting at i1 and j2, so we are going to fill up this square. So again, if one is the last balloon to burst, so if k initially is i, so if one is the last balloon to burst, so from the left side we get no value, so zero. One is the last balloon to burst. From the right side, I go to two, two. So uh, since this is, we are looking that in this subarray, except this guy, what is the value I can get? So that is two, two. So we go to two, two, so that's value is 40. Plus, uh, if this is the last balloon to burst, so the value I get here is three. 
into one, into five is gone, so eight. So the total value here is uh, 24 plus 40, 64. Next, our k becomes, k increments and k becomes j. So two is the last balloon to burst. If three is a, two is the last balloon to burst, the total value I can expect to get is from the left side, one, one, I can get 15. From the right side, I get nothing. And by bursting this guy last, the value I can get is three, because remember, one is already busted. So three into five into eight. So this value is uh, 135. 40, 120 plus 15, 135. So we would, this value is obviously greater than 64, so we would like this guy to burst. Uh, we would like this balloon two to burst last in this group. So one to two and two should be the last balloon to burst. So let's look at the last group of length two, which starts from two and starts from two and ends at J, so two, three. Starts from two ends at three, so two, three. So if two is the last balloon to burst, the value I can expect to get is zero from the left side. Uh, three, three has a value 40, so 40 from the right side plus one into five into one. Because this eight is gone, so one into five into whatever is on the right of eight, since there is nothing, so we take a value one. So this is, uh, this is 40 plus 5.45. If 3 is the last balloon to burst in this group of uh, 2, 3, the value I can expect to get is uh, from the left of 8, so 2, 2. So 2, 2 gives me a value of 40. Plus right of 8, we get nothing, 0. And then 8 is the last to burst. 5 is already gone, so we multiply 1 with 8 with uh, 1. So this value is 48. So bursting 48 is greater than 45. So we take, we make, we burst 3 as the last in this group. So the value I get is 48 and I'll say that 3 will be the last to burst in this group. Next, let's fill up the remaining squares. Now we consider length 3. So these three elements, starting i at 0, j at 2. So we're going to fill up this value 0, i, and j, 2. So we're going to try every possible value of k between i and j and see which should be the last balloon to burst. Initially, k will be i. So zero is a, if 0 is the last balloon to burst, the value I can expect to get is nothing from the left of 0, from the right of zero, I am left with one, two, so I go to one, two, so I get a value of 135, plus, uh, since this balloon bursts last, so one into three, these two balloons are gone, so into eight. So the total value here is 24 plus 30, 135, so 159. Let's increment our k to one. So when k is 1, if this is the last balloon to burst, from the left side we get a value at 0, 0, so that value is 3. From the right side I get a value of 2, 2, so that value is 40. And uh, if this balloon bursts last in this group, so 3 and 5 is gone, so we have 1 into 1 into 8. So this value is going to be 51. And finally, k becomes j. So k is 2. So if 2 is the last balloon to burst, from the left side, we can expect to get a value of 0, 1. So we go to 0, 1. So this value is 30. From the right side, we, we get nothing because this is the rightmost end of this array. And since 5 is the last balloon to burst, 3 and 1 is already gone. So we take 1 then 5 into 8, so this value is 40 plus 30, which is 70. So here, 159 is the largest value, so we, we make sure that 0 is the last balloon to burst in this group. So I'm going to note 159, 0. Now we will, now we will work with the second subarray of length 3, 
which starts at 1 and z3 and our k will again go from 1 to 3. So let's do this quickly. So when k is 0, uh, when k is i, so if 1 is the last balloon to burst, so we get 0 from the left side. From the right side, we get a value of 2, 3, which is 48. And if 1 is the last balloon to burst, so 3 into 1 into these balloons are gone, so 1. So this value is 51. Now we increment k, so k becomes 2. If 2 is the last balloon to burst, from the left side I get 3, 1, 1. From the right side, 3, 3 gives me 40. And then if this is the last balloon to burst, so 3, because these two balloons are gone, so 3 into 5 into 1. So this value is uh, 43 plus 15, so this is 58. And finally, when k is 3, from the left side, we get a value 1, 2, so we go to 1, 2, so that's 135. From the right side, we get a value of 0. And since 8 is the last balloon to burst, we multiply 1, we multiply 3, because these two balloons are gone, so 3 into 8 into 1 because there is nothing on the right side of 1, so we, uh, right side of 8, so we take a value of 1. So this value is again 159. So 159, and in here, 3 is the last, 3 should be the last balloon to burst, so we're also going to note that. Finally, so we have till now solved all the subarrays, so finally our length will become 4, and we'll, at this length, we'll find out which should, what should be the order of in which the balloon should be bursted and also what is the maximum value we can get. So i is 0, j is uh, 3. So 0, 3, we're going to fill up this particular square. So k starts from 0. So k uh, is, when k is 0, if this is the last balloon to burst, then from the left side we get 0, from the right side we get value between 1, 3, so 1, 3 is 159. And then this is the last balloon to burst. So 1 from the left side into 3. And these three balloons are gone. So again, 1. So giving me a total value of 162. If, if k is 1, so if 1 is the last balloon to burst, so from the left side, I get a value of 3. From the right side, I get a value of 2, 3. 2, 3 is 48. And uh, then if this is the last balloon to burst, then it will uh, be 1 into 1 into 1. So this value is 52. Uh, let's have 2, ks2. So from the left side, we go to 0, 1, 0, 1. So value is 30. We go on the right side of k, so 3, 3. Value is 40. And 1 into 5 into 1. So this value is 75. And finally, if k is 3, in here, uh, the left, uh, left is 0 to 2. So 0 to 2 is 159. Right side is 0. And 8 is the last balloon to burst. Everything else is gone. So 1 into 8 into 1, giving me a total value of 167. So among all this, 167 is the biggest number. So we'll put it here and we'll also note that 3 should be the last balloon to burst. So this is our answer. 167 is the maximum value we can get by bursting the balloons in some optimized order. So next, let's see how we can get the order in which the balloon should be bursted. We are going to backtrack in this matrix to find the order in which the balloons should be bursted. We know that 167 is the maximum value we can get and we also know that the balloon at index 3 is the last balloon to burst. So among all these guys, a balloon at index 3, so 8 is the last balloon to burst. So now uh, with 8 uh, safely at its position, we are going to look at the remaining array. So the remaining array is 0 to 2. So then we go to 0 to 2 and then that the index here is 0 which means that 0 is the last balloon to burst in this group. So at 0 we have 3 
So three is the last balloon to burst in this group. And now with zero gone, we are looking at this subarray one to two. So we have one to two and here the value is two. So value at a balloon at index two is the last balloon to burst in this group. So five is the last balloon to burn in this group. And then we are left with one, one, and then we go to one, one, and this value is one. So the value there is also one. So this is the order in which the balloons needs to be bursted and for this array to get this value 167. Uh, thing here is that uh, this time the backtracking we did was pretty linear, but that would not always be the case. For example, if the last balloon to burst was two, then we would have a left side of two and we would have a right side of two. Uh, two. And then in that case, you might have to write a simple tree-based uh, structure or tree-based rec tree recursion to find out uh, the order in which the balloons need to be bursted. So the time complexity for this algorithm is O of n cube because we are finding every subarray and for every subarray we are having a k go from the start and end of that subarray to find the last balloon to burst and the space complexity is O of n square. Next let's look at the code for this algorithm. The main function here is max coins bottom of dp. It takes in an int array nums where elements in the nums indicates the value of the balloon and int returns the maximum value we can get by bursting balloon in certain order. First we initialize t which is a two-dimensional array where the rows and columns is same as the number of elements in this array. Then we take a value of l length which goes from 1 till the numbers dot length and then for every value of len our i will start from 0 and go till numbers dot length minus len and j will be i plus len minus 1. So now this k here indicates that which balloon should be bursting last. So we'll try every k from i till j and see uh, which uh, bursting which balloon gives the maximum value. This left and right value initiate so inside this for loop where k goes from i till j our left and right value initially will be null will be 1 and if i is not 0 then left value will take the value of nums of i minus 1 and if j is not the last element then right value will take value of nums of j plus 1. So this is for those leftmost and the rightmost element. If there is nothing on the left of, since there is nothing on the left of the leftmost element, we take that initial value one. And since there is nothing on the right of the rightmost element, we give the value, right value as one. Otherwise we get the value from the nums array. Similarly, we have before and after. Before is, both of them are initially zero. And if i is not same as k, so if i is less than k, then before we'll take a value of t of i k minus 1. Similarly, if j is not same as k, so say if j is greater than k, then after we'll take the value of t of k plus 1 j. And then once we have calculated all these values, we'll calculate t of i j, which will be max of left value into nums of k into right value plus before plus after, and, and then max of this or the existing value of t i j. So basically we are iterating through all the k's and seeing which k gives you the maximum value. So let's look at this example. So our array is 2, 4, 3, 5 and then we initialize this t uh, two-dimensional array. So initially our length is 1, so initially our length is 1, our i, our i will be 0, j will be i plus length minus 1, so j will also be 0. So k will iterate from 0 till 0. So k can take only one value. And if you go through the, all these values, in that case, left will be one, right value uh, will get the value of, uh, right value will get the value of uh, four, and before will be zero, after will be zero. So overall, this value will end up becoming two into four, which is eight. And we'll also note that uh, we got the maximum value for k zero. Similarly, we'll do for uh, i one and j, of i1 j1 and then k only possible value for k is 1 and here we get 24 1. Similarly we got 62 and 15 3. So now our length will become 2. So now this length will increment and again we'll try for every value of i and j and for every value of k between i and j. So now i is 0 and now j will be i which is 0 plus length which is 2 minus 1. So j in this case will be 1. 
Now k will iterate from 0 till 1. So when k is 0, the maximum value we can get is 30. So if if uh, zeroth element is the last balloon to burst between these two balloons, two and four, then the maximum value we can get is thirty. And if uh, and if uh, k if one is the last balloon to burst, then the maximum value we can get is twenty. So in this case, uh, so in this case, uh, thirty is the higher value. So we pick thirty, and we also note that we get this value at uh, at index uh, at uh, at k zero. Next, uh, we are going to uh, try i equal to 1 and j equal to 2. In this case, the maximum value we can get for will be at index 1 and the value will be 100. And similarly, our i will be 2 and j will be 3 and the maximum value we get is 80 at index, index 3. So after we are done th doing this, our length will again increment by one more and again i will become 0 and j will become uh, i which is 0 plus length which is uh, 3 minus 1 so j will become 2 so now our k will go from 0 till j and in this case the maximum value we got was at index 0 whose value was 110 next our uh, i will go i will become 1 and j will become 3 and k will go from uh, 1 to 3 in this case again the maximum value we got is 110 at index 3 so finally length will become 4 and for the 4 length the maximum uh, so and for the four length, our i will be zero, j will be three. So k will go from zero till uh, j, zero till three, and here we get a maximum value of 115 for index or k three. And finally, re uh, retracing our steps back, we can find out the order in which the balloon needs to be busted, which is three, four, two, five, and in here we return this value t of zero nums dot length minus one, which is the value at the top. Uh, right corner the value the value for in this for this example is 115 so the, again the time complexity for this algorithm is o of n cube and space complexity is o of n squared so this is all i have to talk about this algorithm please like this video share this video check out my facebook page and check out my github link thanks again for watching this video